How does one go about making a fragrance review? I mean, you guys aren't really here to smell it, so it's not quite the same as like being able to see makeup and what it looks like because you're just kind of going off my description. And depending how eloquent I am with words or how well I am at describing things, this can either turn out to be really fun and even informative or dumpster fire of a video. We're gonna give it a shot. Silent Bella here, and yes, today we are here for an unboxing slash uh, first impressions of the VT Cosmetics by BTS L'Atelier de Subtils uh, fragrance collection. Kind of. So if you're a local who is not quite into the BTS phenomenon, uh, you probably only understood the words BTS and fragrance out of all the words I just said. And you're probably scared. Don't be. It's not that bad. Kind of. Sure. Okay, let's take it back a bit. I mean, sure, they are the biggest boy band in the world right now, and possibly your only exposure to K-pop other than Psy and Blackpink, if you've been following Coachella and more late night talk shows, and possibly you also might have heard of Monsta X, or hey, back in the day, Girls' Generation. But yes, back to the main point, if you're not a part of the BTS army, you probably don't understand just how much reach BTS has, and that includes products and merchandising. Some of their products include, but are not limited to, hoodies, jackets, t-shirts, shoes, lanyards, card games, dolls, Funko Pops, figures that are not Funko Pops, even homeware, and of course, CDs. And that's not including BT21, which are the characters that they created in collaboration with Line Friends. Their products include, but are not limited to, <laughs> hoodies, t-shirts, jackets, shoes, skirts, socks, headbands, lanyards, Funko Pops, figures that are not Funko Pops, Plushies, pillows, keychains, even AirPod cases, and for both of these, of course, makeup. Now, if you're wondering what the heck VT Cosmetics is, you've probably never heard of it because it is actually a Korean based makeup and skincare brand. They, of course, have done collaborations uh, with BTS in the past. BTS are considered ambassadors for VT Cosmetics and uh, have had different collaborations made with them. BT Cosmetics has also done collaborations with BT21. They have made a couple makeup collections based on the characters that the boys have created. But it wasn't until May of this year, uh, 2019, that they actually debuted their very first fragrance collaboration with BTS, dubbed L'Atelier de Subtils, BT by BTS. <laughs> and yes, I have to read it off like this every time because if not, I'm gonna mispronounce it. Now before we actually get into the unboxing, I do want to get into a little bit more of the specifics, uh, specifically how much they retail for. The fragrance collection includes seven individual scents, one for each of the members. And a couple of months ago, they debuted the hand cream set, which includes all seven fragrances as individual hand creams. Now the individual fragrances retail for about 58,000 South Korean won, which uh, translates to about $48.72 in US dollars. The set of hand creams goes for about 48,000 won, which translates to about $40.32 here. Now the tricky thing is that since VT Cosmetics is a South Korean based brand, they are not able to ship internationally. So of course there are other websites that are willing to buy them over there to be able to sell them here. And one of those is VT Cosmetics USA, which kind of works in collaboration with the original VT Cosmetics. That's the one where I got my fragrances and I got them on the Black Friday sale, which is how I was able to actually buy them. Cause up until this point, like I mentioned, I did not have the, the money to buy them. When you're buying them over here, uh, the fragrances will retail for about anywhere between $60 to $92 depending on uh, where you're buying them from. I would suggest staying away from things like eBay because they could be used and also people will sell way out of price for that. And if you're thinking, well, aren't you technically paying double the price if it's not a Black Friday deal for that? Mm, yes, very true. You're paying probably a few dollars more here, but you also have to take into fact that the amount of shipping costs from Korea. It's a lot. But again, that's just my experience with it. I know there are other websites that do sell them for either more or less. Uh, I felt comfortable doing it off the actual BT Cosmetics USA website just because I feel like that's the closest that I can get to the actual retailer. To give it a little more background, the fragrances were made in collaboration with Frederic Bertin, um, who has a long history of expertise as a senior researcher at Guerlain, Guerlain? Guerlain and the LVMH Research Center. Says Frederick Bertin and Creative Lives Express. 
So for the Reef Poutine actually does have some notoriety in the fragrance world and um, for his thoughts on what it was like creating this collection and collaborating with VT Cosmetics he had this to say. Back in 2018 I met with VT Cosmetics in Seoul. I was a big fan of the music and performance of BTS, the exclusive model of VT, and I was watching their ripple effect with an unusual interest. I knew the VT by BTS cosmetic collection was a big success. With this encounter, I felt the desire to create a collection of seven perfumes with VT Cosmetics. The collection L'Atelier des Subtils was created with BTS' own character and sensibilities. For making each of the seven fragrances of L'Atelier des Subtils, we worked with a partner in France. It is a specialized center, allowing disabled persons to work in an ordinary environment and being able to support their education through precise manual work. I'm very happy that VT supported this great collaboration for the handmaking of L'Atelier des Subtils collection. The perfume expresses what you are, not what you should be. Now the tagline for the cosmetics is Spotlight Yourself, um, as stated in Namjoon in the teaser trailer, uh, which I will show here. Spotlight yourself. Latte. VT Cosmetics. Yeah, you can imagine that the first time that this just kind of dropped out of nowhere, everyone lost their minds over it. We we're like, oh my god, fragrance? Are they each gonna have one? Oh my god, what? Take my money. And yeah, that's kind of pretty much what happened. Some of us took a little longer than others, but uh, we get there in the end. And also, case in point, these fragrances are all unisex, so I find that really neat. I actually work at a cosmetic store where we have a lot of fragrance and we only have one uh, fragrance that is actually considered unisex. It is uh, from Gucci, the Memori, um, and that one it was created to be unisex. So I am curious to see um, how uh, VT Cosmetics does unisex fragrances and see if it would be appealing to both men or women or even, you know, anyone in between. Now, as for my shopping experience, um, like I said, I did get these off the VT Cosmetics USA website on Black Friday, so there was a deal for it. I did actually two separate orders because I was doing two separate forms of payment. Uh, the first order I placed was for Jin's fragrance and the set of hand creams. And the second order was for Namjoon's fragrance and uh, Hobie's fragrance. Now if I decide to get the other four at a later date, that'll probably be a little down the line. Now the funny thing is that the order of Namjoon and Hobie's fragrance, which was placed after the order of Jin and the hand creams, actually arrived at my house a couple days before Jin and the hand creams, which order I placed first, so that was kind of weird. But other than that, everything did arrive okay, I imagine. And the reason I say that is because yes, I did open Namjoon and Hobie's fragrance. Well, I opened the box. I haven't opened the actual fragrance itself. The boxes have been opened, but the fragrance bottles are still sealed, so that we, I, I haven't smelled anything. I want to get that out there right now. I have not smelled anything. This is very much a first impressions, in part. The box that includes Jin's fragrance and the hand creams arrived today, and I have not opened it at all. So you will be seeing that unboxing, so not technically a lie. So without further ado, we are going to get right into it. I also have um, right here on my phone the description for each fragrance. So I can describe to you what it's supposed to smell like as I'm smelling it in case, again, words fail me. 
Now we're gonna start with the one I already opened. So I have Namjoon and Hobie's fragrance. And when I opened the box, this did come by um, U.S. Postal Service, by the way. When I opened the box, um, there was actually these in there, which I found really neat. Um, I thought, oh look, fancy. And then these actually have the standees inside. So we're gonna open this one up. I don't remember which one this one. Oh yeah, this is Namjoon. So this is the standee for Namjoon. I haven't actually taken it out of the packaging either. So as you can see, it's got the suit. Same from like the video and the photo shoot. It's got the fragrance, and then you can stand them up and I guess put this on a desk or a shelf. Um, I have neither, so I won't be able to do that until my room is finished renovating. And then this one, uh, by process of elimination, must be Hobie's. So yeah, here's Hobie's. Love the sweater. Love the shoes. Look at the shoes. But yeah, he's got his fragrance right here, a little standy. I might take one of these out to show you guys. I kind of want to keep them intact at the same time. I don't know. Kind of like the collector in me. They did also come with these transparent photo cards. These were actually out of the box. They do look a little scratched up though, so I don't know how I feel about that. Actually, that does kind of make me disappointed so well. Here's Hobie's. I don't know if you can see well because it's transparent, so I'm putting my hand there. And then we have Namjoon's. And yeah, in this one, they're not holding their fragrance bottles. They're holding something from their other BT collaboration. So this one, I think, Stay. I think this one might be like one of the highlights or one of the lipsticks and then this one might be either a mascara or like a lip gloss or something like that. Now let's get to the actual boxes. So this is what the box looks like. It's says L'Atelier de Septils BT and by BTS and on the back it has all of the information uh, in Korean. And um, it has this little sticker, which is for proof of authenticity, if it's similar to the ones that are on BTS's CDs. And it has the name of the fragrance. So this is Eau de Citrus, which is Hobie's fragrance. And uh, by the way, these fragrances are made in France. So it's not anything cheap like that. These are, in fact, generally made in France. And so this is the other box. And then there's everything same on the back, except this is Eau de Bois. Eau de Bois. Eau de Bois. Bois. Eau de Bois. Uh, which is not good fragrance. The size of the fragrance is uh, 50 milliliters, so that's about 1.69 fluid ounce, 1.7. So um, to give you guys some perspective, I work um, in a cosmetic store. I think I've mentioned that enough times. Um, and if I haven't, hi, how you doing? I work in a cosmetic store. And that does include fragrance. So I am around fragrance a lot, and part of my job does include recommending fragrance and helping people when it comes to fragrance. So I like to say I kind of know my way around the block. A 1.7 fluid ounce is usually considered a medium size. One ounce is usually going to be your uh, smallest size, and then 3.4 is usually going to be around your largest, or even 2.7, just to kind of depends on the brand. Usually, depending if it's an EDP or an EDT, that kind of decides on your retail as well, besides size. The difference, by the way, between EDP and EDT, oh, fragrance lesson. So EDP stands for Eau de Parfum and EDT is Eau de Toilette. Basically, Eau de Toilette is the toilet water spray, Eau de Parfum is going to be a original fragrance. EDP um, is going to be more oil based, so therefore it's going to be more potent, more concentrate, and it's therefore going to be considered stronger in scent and also less longer. EDT is going to be a little lighter in scent and it's not going to last as long because they have been diluted with water. Depending on the person, some people actually do prefer an EDT even though EDP sounds like the obvious choice. So it's the stronger, it's the more, you know, pure one. But then again, a lot of people are a lot more sensitive to the smell and they don't want something so strong or maybe they like the scent, they want something a little lighter and they would prefer an EDT. I also do like to recommend EDTs for first time perfumes or first time colognes. So yeah, friggin' awesome with Cardi, that's fun. So yeah, I am curious to see if this is an EDP or an EDT. So let's gonna open up the box. This one, yeah, let's start with Namjoon's. So this is Oh The Boys. Ta-da! Ooh, look how pretty. So in the box we have the fragrance right here, here's Eau de Bois, and then we have uh, this pack of cards. I want to see real quick, so it says Eau de Toilette. Okay, it's an Eau de Toilette. So that kind of makes sense. Now we've mentioned before that BTS has a very large and wide range of fan base. It's not just all teenage girls, it's, you know, older folk, very young kids boys, girls, non-binary pals of all different types of races and genders and sexualities, it's all good. So I can imagine that maybe that's why they went with the Nota to let because if it's something like a teenage girl that buys it, maybe she doesn't want something so strong or just in general. And again, EDTs, there's nothing bad about EDTs. I actually do have a couple EDTs myself. So am I mad that these are EDTs? Uh, absolutely not. I judge it based on the smell itself and 
that's all there is to it in my opinion. EDP and EDT, like I mentioned, EDPs are good. I don't think I mentioned this, but EDP is going to usually retail higher price since it is the more concentrate. So yeah, if you are, if you like the scent, but you're not willing to spend so much money, hey, EDT could be your new best friend. So yeah, this is Oda Boys. And then let me just open up real quick Oda Citrus as well. So here we go. Ta -da! Oh yeah, so here's Oda Citrus and then the pack of cards. I do want to look at the cards actually, so let's go ahead and take out Oda Citrus. Oh. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, sure. It's like very stuck in there. I'm kind of scared. I don't want to break it. Oh, I got it. Oh, it's sticky. Okay, so let's take a look real quick in here. So first we have all of the guys, um, and on the back it's in Korean, and it says Light Plus Atelier. That would be really great if I knew what Atelier meant. Um, and it says Spotlight Yourself, Let's Atelier. So there we go. By the way, I'm not going to do this with every single box. I'm pretty sure these are going to be all the same for the box. We're, we're all, we're all going to go through with this one, okay? Okay. So first up we have Jin, um, and his fragrance is called Eau de Cotton. Um, so there we go. There's one. I think there's two for each. Yeah, so there's Jin again. And the difference is that this one is going to have it in English, and this one, I believe, has it in Korean. Next up we have Jungkook and his is called Oh the Ocean. So there we go, we have Jungkook in that one. And then we have uh, this picture of him over here, also with the Korean on the back. Next up we have Taehyung, we have the Eau de Musk. Um, and yeah, this one is the one I'm probably, it's probably one of the ones I'm most curious about. I'll get into why in a little bit once I'm actually smelling all of them, which I will because I have all the hand creams. But yeah, I'll, I'll get into a little more depth um, when I get to that. Now we have Jimny, and with the, ooh, it's like pink and lavender hair, I love that. Um, his fragrance is called Eau de Poudre. Eau de Poudre? Oh, my non-existent French skills. I'm so sorry, Monsieur Joyce, my high school French teacher when I was homeschooled through online school. I'm so sorry. Now we have Hobie, uh, Eau de Citrus, we already mentioned uh, that. And we have, of course, the colorful sweater. So here we go. Saying it's a stand day, basically. Yeah, it's ba basically the same poses at the stand day. Oh, yeah, same poses. Uh, yeah, because we have Namjoon here. Look at that. Looking like looking like the king that he is. Look at that. Oh, the boys. Um, and then, yeah, so based off of um, Hobie and Namjoon's, I figured that this picture, like the second picture at album, is going to be what the stand days look like. And finally, we have Yoongi. Eau de Vert. So, yep, we got piano and then nice floral shirt and the blonde hair. Nice. So, yeah, that's cool. I like that they include that with all of them. But now that means I'm gonna have so many of these same pictures. <sighs> and I'm, I am gonna open up one of the fragrances, but I kind of want to uh, open up the box too, so that we don't take too long. She says this, this video is already going on too long. Okay, so I'm going to open this one off screen just because it's easier for me to have to hide my address from you guys. I know what you're thinking, Carla. Why the heck don't you like bring scissors? Scissors are for the week. Yay, we did it! Alright, so let's open it up. Woo! Unboxings are fun. Okay, so first we have the invoice. Thank you for shopping with us. Ilio ETI. Da, 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 da. Okay, cool. Alright, so in here. They sent me a lot of transparent photo cards. Is it because of the hand cream set? Neat. Oh, and then of course we have the standy. So um, like I mentioned, I did get Jin's fragrance and then the hand cream set. So yeah, this is probably most definitely going to be the standy for Jin. And let's see if my theory was correct about it being the same as the pictures. Yep, there we go. Same one. Oh, look at Jin. So, yep, this is the Sandy for uh, Jin. It's got Let's Leo this with these, just like the other ones, and then the little stand. And yeah, maybe I will take this out to show you guys. So, let's. Where's the opening? Oh, so 
So that's what it looks like. And then is it sealed? Oh, okay, so you pop it out this way. I feel maybe I shouldn't be doing this just because I don't have anywhere to pop this afterward. Um, I thought I broke it for a second. My heart just fell. I probably should have peeled that off first. Oh well. So yeah, just and there you go. Kind of. And there you go. <laughs> so yeah, you can put this on the your desk or your shelf of books. I have neither of those, so we're just gonna move on. So let me open this up and realize that they sent me like all of the transparent photo cards, I'm guessing just because I ordered the hand cream set. So yeah, here we have Jin. I'm gonna do the thing again. Um, don't know what he's holding. Maybe a mascara or a lip balm, I don't know. We have Yoongi, yeah, this is Yoongi. Sorry, it's hard to tell when I'm transparent. So here we have Yoongi. We have Tete. Oh, back in the mullet days, neat. Another one of Namjoon. We have Jiminy as well. And here we have Jungkook. And then once again, we have Hobi. So yeah, again, I feel like they sent me all of those because I got the hand cream set. Because all the other ones only had one, so. Neat, thanks! <laughs> what am I gonna do with all of these? I'm starting to rethink my life choices, you guys. Like, I know it seems cool, like, oh yeah, you get extra gifts when sometimes when you order something. Yeah, but what are you gonna do with them? I don't know. So here is um, the box for Jin's Fragrance Eau de Cotton, and I am going to rip into this one before we get into the hand creams themselves, just so you can see me actually open one and not feel chipped or ripped off because they are the open ones who can't be in the box no I wish you guys could see the hand the hand cream box it's so pretty I'm looking at it right now and I'm just like oh, I can't wait to show you guys Ooh, here we go mm -hmm. and so yeah here we go same Korean 1.7 ounce Marco approval. I think the ribbons are diff different colors too. I think Namjoon's is like, I think they're all the same as the boxes because Hobie's was like the light pink and Namjoon's was like the peach. And then I'm guessing uh, Jin is going to be more of like a darker pink. So ta-da. Oh, I was right. Or sort of like a, like a, yeah, like a darker pink because I think uh, Jungkook's is the um, purple one. So yeah, here we have Eau de Cotton. So neat. And I am going to open one of these to, to show you what the actual bottle looks like. So keeping in... Keeping on brand, let's open up gins. So yeah, this is uh, the fragrance bottle, and then this is what it says on the back, Korean, but it also says the ingredients. So yep, alcohol, perfum, water, yep, it's water-based. Um, pretty much every other ingredient that's inside a fragrance. Okay, so we're going to rip into this. Ah. Take her out. Ah. I'm trying to be very nice with the box. So here we go. And then, ah, here she is. Ooh, look how pretty. So yes, all of the bottles are very similar. Um, they are sort of this clear shape, kind of like spritz bottle. Nothing super fancy, but I kind of like the subtlety of it. I think it's very classy. I think it's very, you know, just nice, you know, to hold in your hand. Nothing too crazy, nothing too big. Uh, that makes it really hard to hold. Yes, I am thinking about you thinking next. Your bottle is super cute, but it's really hard for my tiny hands. But yeah, no, this one's really cute. And then, oh, I can kind of smell it. I'll get into, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and open the hand creams and then smell all of them. Um, so that way I can show you guys. I am going to keep this one on hand though. And then, uh, yes, I will be kind of reading out all of the descriptions for it. I think I think make things a little easier. Oh, the Korean thing is a sticker. Oh, okay. So yeah, let's get into the hand cream box. Oh my gosh, it's so big. It's so much bigger than I thought. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my gosh. Look how pretty. It's got all of them on the front. It says BT Cosmetics and BTS. It has Latinier de Subtis. 
I'm getting easier at saying that. And then on the back, yes, it has the um, authenticity sticker. And it has this side in Korean, this side in English. Um, let me see what it says. So, BT by BTS, L'Atelier de Subtil Signature Hand Collection. Signature hand cream blended with L'Atelier de Subtil Signature Perfume, which gently and softly wrap dry skin while fulfilling the moment with abundance of scent. Ingredients. It is water-based. Uh, there's glycerin, uh, there's shea butter, which is a really great ingredient in any kind of hand cream. Beeswax, also very nice. The fragrance in it. Jojoba seed oil, rose canida fruit oil, cacao seed butter. Astrocarium Murumuru seed butter, sweet almond oil. So, yeah, um, some pretty good ingredients. So, yeah, we're gonna open her up. Oh my gosh. Well, ah, that's weird. I didn't realize that it was gonna be this big. I thought the hand creams would be a lot smaller, but now I'm just like, oh my gosh, they must be huge. By the way, you can actually buy uh, the hand cream set on the Costco website. <laughs> I just found that out. Uh, Beauty Cosmetics put it on their Twitter and they were like, Hey, people in the US, you want the hand cream set? Go on to Costco's website. <laughs> I was like, wow, that was really random. Um, if only I, my family had Costco and not Sam's Club. But honestly, um, I think the retail price for it on the Costco website is 44 so um, very much the exact translation from the 48,000 won, um, which is pretty nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to open this. Ready to see, guys? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, they're huge! <gasps> wow, they're so big! Oh my gosh, I thought they were gonna be like minis, like the like the ones that they sell at my store for like $2.99. Like they're like this big. Like that, and then like that. I'm like, oh my gosh, like the hemp ones. Oh my gosh, but these are huge. Oh my gosh, let me take one out. Okay, so yeah, these are really big. Okay, back is in Korean. How many fluid ounces? 1.6.9 uh, fluid ounce, 50 milliliters. So yeah, this is actually the same exact size and amount as the fragrance. So if you are not a big fan of fragrance like sprays, but you like hand creams, this would be a great substitute then. Cool. So it says title, Letitia de Subtil's Signature and Collection. This one is Ocean. Oh, and here it actually has the keywords and the fragrance notes there. So keyword, Aquar aqueous, ocean, breezy, fragrance note, bergamot, lily, algae, rose, moss, cedarwood. We're going to go down the line. So this one's Jungkook's. Okay, so we're actually going to go ahead and open this. Oh, okay, it's sealed. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and smell it and see if I can describe it to you guys really well. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that smells nice, dang it. Oh my gosh, that actually smells really good. Okay, so I know a lot of you guys, especially, again, locals who don't care for BTS or don't care about it or whatever, and they think I'm just saying this because it's BTS related. Listen, I can admit, it, when it comes to like makeup and fragrance, I don't care who makes it, I will admit to it if it's not good. Case in point, I bought the Her Universe Avengers Infinity War palette because I thought it looked really cool, but that pigmentation was crap, okay? It had no pigmentation and the blendability was a joke. It is not a good palette. Most Hot Topic palettes aren't, I'm sorry, but it's true, okay? I know that BT21 has a palette in Hot Topic. Listen, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same exact thing. If you've seen Jeffree Star's review of the Nickelodeon palette, you basically know all of the Hot Topic palettes in, in that case. So I am not about to sit here and lie to you guys and say it's great just because BTS is name is on it, okay? I I take my credibility as someone who actually works with fragrance every day to be able to recommend to people good fragrances and fragrances I think they'd like. So I've had practice with describing fragrance and seeing what fragrances actually smell really nice or not. So case in point, keep that in mind. As for this, this smells amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it smells really nice. Let me actually kind of read you the little blurbs that they have on their website too, because that kind of, because it, I feel like it would uh, explain it as well too. Uh, my own personal thing, it smells very, you know, ocean, very beachy. It smells very kind of even tropical, I guess is the word I would use. I know it says the um, keyword ocean, breezy. Um, the fragrance note, the, the cedarwood is like a subtle scent. So cedarwood is a really nice ingredient when it comes to fragrances because it's like a woodsy, but it's not super intense woodsy. It's nothing like um, a black leather cord or anything like that. Another one that's a really soft one, especially like in women's fragrances is sandalwood. So yeah, cedarwood, sandalwood, those kind of woods, those are like one of those softer kind of woods. 
it, it does smell very kind of like light and airy as well. Um, let me actually read you the blurbs because um, that might be a really good indicator. It might They might use better words than I am. So it says, Let's leer de subtiles uh, eau de ocean, the moment the refreshing sea approaches. Uh, the smell of the sea from afar and the aroma of woody amber add to the freshness of the blue sea. Feel the clear blue sea on a sunny summer day. Uh, very well put. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. It, it just, it, I can't just but help of think of the beach. All the times I've been to the beach, that's what I'm imagining as I smell this. So I actually really like this one. This one's really nice. Uh, what do we got next? Let's hear the signature hand mask. Okay, so this is Taeyang. So the thing about Taeyang, based on reviews of the fragrances so far, Taeyang has gotten the most mixed response just because it is more like a musky base and not a lot of girls like musk. A lot of musk at least. Those are musks are usually reserved for more men's fragrances and then white musks are typically used uh, in women's fragrances because it gives you that kind of maturity without being too harsh and it also keeps your sweet smen, uh, scents from being too sugary. So this one, um, it says keyword musk, soft, addictive. Fragrance note, black currant bud, bergamot, raspberry, cumin, neroli tree moss, thyme, civet, patchouli, sandalwood, musk. Okay, so yes, black currant bud. Black currant is uh, one of those um, kind of notes that kind of gives a more maturity to the scent. Same with bergamot it, and um, thyme is gonna be like a spice, cumin as well. Those are gonna be like spices, but not overly spicy, not something like um, black pepper, which is found in more men's fragrances. The raspberry would give it a more of a s subtle sweetness to it. What interests me the most is the patchouli. I love patchouli. I know that Chanel tends to use patchouli, especially in the Coco and the Coco Mademoiselle and the Coco Mademoiselle Intense. They do have patchouli in them, I believe. And a lot of people really like those fragrances, so it kind of gives you that spice without it being too spicy. So I am very interested to smell it now. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like the, the one I was like kind of looking forward to the most of smelling just out of sheer curiosity because of um, feedback. Uh, and I'm smelling it second, so let's see. I can't smell anything, but... It's very soft. I might have to actually put some on or like squeeze the bottle of it. Okay, I'm gonna put some on my hand just because I can't actually smell anything, so. Oh, there it is, hold on. Ooh, ooh. That's interesting. This one is probably the most unisex. Um, <laughs> two out of seven and on Marcy. This is the most unisex. Um, because it's very, it, it does have that musk. It, it smells, it's a very light scent. It does kind of remind me more of a cologne than a perfume, um, if that makes sense. But it is very soft. It's interesting. Hmm. I can see why some people were kind of mixed about it because I love the scent, but I don't know if I would love the scent on myself. It's more like I would love the scent on a boyfriend if I had one. But it's a very nice scent. Um, it's not like overly spicy or overly intense. What does the blurb say about it? Let's go to the blurb. L'atelier de Sutil's Eau de Musk Moments facing the mist under the moonlight. Blended with musk, wood, and floral scents, it delivers a profound and mysterious mood. Feel the mysterious and charming scent hidden behind the splendor. So that, yeah, I can kind of see that. Like, that's that sort of idea of, like, mystery. It does, oh, God, I, I hate reading these blurbs because it does kind of paint a picture in my head. Like, I can just, like... If I see pictures, so if the other one of the Eau de Ocean kind of gave me pictures of the beach, this one does... It kind of gives me um, like romance, but like, you know, one of those mystery romance novels, like, you know, with the gumshoe detective and the, and like, oh, you know, meeting in the dark alleys and, you know, like, oh, but like that passion. Wow, I'm like getting so literary. literary. Yeah, this sounds very odd. I, I don't know how to think about it because, uh, yeah, it's, it's one of those where it's like, I like the scent, but again, I don't know if I'd like it on myself. That's so weird. It's like, Again, if I had a boyfriend, I, I would probably get this one for him because I feel like it's a very nice scent, you know, that he would have. I just don't know if I would like it on myself, but I do like it. It's just, you know, one of those things where, like, would I like it on me is the question. So, and I don't know the answer yet. So, okay, we'll just keep that on my hand and we'll check back in on that one later. Next up we have, um, let's layer the Sutil's Vert. So this one's Yugi's. Keyword, green, cozy, intense. Fragrance note, sweet orange, coconut, rosewood, vanilla, patchouli, cedarwood, sandalwood, tonka bean, and moss. 
should probably mention, by the way, with the teaser things, um, yeah, Jungkook did have like him in the ocean, and Young did have that sort of air and mystery mood. Someone said very kind of witchy vibes. Um, with Yoongi's, it was him in the forest with the piano, so I'm very interested to see how that kind of incorporates into it. Uh, the fact that it has cedarwood and sandalwood, um, along with the moss, does bring a little bit to my attention, gives it a little more of that kind of subtleness to it. Sweet orange, the coconut. Coconut is a new one. I have not seen it so far on any of the others. And vanilla as well, and the patchouli. So it's a nice blend. I like the keyword cozy because it cut because the vanilla kind of brings to mind a bit of that you know kind of sweetness. So let's see. Oh, I like that one. Have I been looking off camera too much? Sorry. This one's nice. It feels very, um, oh, I hate reading the keywords because they're like taking the words out of my head. Cozy, but also comforting. It's very soft. It's very, you know, it's like, it feels like a hug. <laughs> I don't know why I'm describing it like that, but it feels like a hug. It's got that sweetness, but it's not like sugary sweet like I mentioned. That might be like the cedarwood and the sandalwood kind of balancing it out. Um, let's go to the blurb real quick. Let's leave this with these. Olivert, a dreamy forest, the moment of feeling the coolness of the wind. A combination of Caesar wood scent and subtle woody powdery musk essence create a natural freshness and comfort. Feel like a refreshing breeze on a summer day. See, I said the word comfort. Yeah, this one, this one does kind of make me think of like, you know, a park or like a forest, but like very soft, not like spooky. It feels very, you know, nice and comforting, which I love. I love that they picked this for Yoongi because again, Yoongi gets that like kind of reputation, especially for like newer armies that, oh, he's cold, he's scary, but he's off-putting and things like that. I'm like, dude, he's such a soft babe, leave him alone. Oh, I really like this one. This one's really nice. I feel like I would like use, I feel like I would use like Ocean and this one like, uh, Oda Musk, I still don't know, but like this one I definitely would use, especially something like a summer scent or a spring scent even. It's very um, soft and like inviting at the same time. All right, let's see who do we have next. Oh, the boys. Oh, so num jeans. Okay, so keywords: woody, warm, and elegant. Fragrance note: coriander, coriander. Oh, coriander, juniper, amber seed, lavender, vivitier, and cedarwood. All right, so we have cedarwood. We also have juniper. We haven't seen that yet. Uh, lavender as well. Interesting. So let's see if I like this pairing. Hopefully I do, because I did get the fragrance already. Ooh. Hmm. That one's very soft. I didn't expect that. Let me let me put a little bit on my hand here. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. By the way, the hand cream itself, I should mention, is very soft and it does leave it very kind of like dewy. Okay, I can smell a little better here and uh, ooh, that's nice. Again, this one kind of re reminds me of the Oda Musk where it's like, oh, I would, I like the scent, but I would love smelling that on a boyfriend if I had one. But it's very nice. It feels, it does have that kind of woodsy scent to it, but again, not over, um, overwhelming and feels very kind of soft and fresh at the same time. I would agree with the keyword elegant. It does kind of give off that vibe. Let's see what the blur has to say. All right, let's hear this with these eau de boy. Uh, tranquil winter forest moment of deep breath. Woody musk spicy scent with strong wood blends with the luxury of old paper musk for elegant woody scent. Please feel the luxurious sensuality, the warmth that gives. Yeah. This, this smells like, um, okay, so we were painting pictures in my head. So this picture, I see, you know, one of those like fancy kind of offices, but like, you know, in a cabin somewhere. I'm literally just reciting the, um, the, the, the teaser. But yeah, no, you, you see in the teaser, like the, the office that Namjoon is in, it's like that kind of vibe, you know? And again, the sensuality very much. So just imagine like the significant weather walks in, the passion. <laughs> Oh, that smells actually really nice. I feel like I would even wear this one, kind of. Again, I don't know how much I would like the scent on myself, but I do really like the scent itself. It is very elegant, and yeah, the like I feel like in the perfume it probably would be a little like more intense. Again, hand creams are gonna be a little more diluted than that, so I don't know how well I am basing off of this, but in terms of the scent itself, I do really like it. I just feel like I'm repeating myself so much. I really like it. Yes, I really like it. I'm doing my best here, okay, you guys? Please. I hope you appreciate it. I'm trying my best. Um, all right, what do we got here? Um, let's see this with these. Citrus. Okay, so hobies. Uh, keyword. Citrus, fresh, energizing. Fragrance note. Lemon, elemi, bergamot, 
parsley, nutmeg, algae, um, algae, algae, algae. I've been pronouncing it algae. It's algae probably. Oh well. White musk, emberry, ambergris, ambergris, pine, and moss. The lemon is new, so this one is going to probably be the most different out of all of them just because alongside maybe the ocean one, Jungkook's, because of the fact that this one is more citrus based. So yeah, let's take a look see. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, here we go. Yep, yeah, this is this is citrusy. Mm -hmm. So fun fact, there are not that many citrus scents made out there, um, at least not in my store, the ones that we carry, and we carry quite a bit. Only a few of them are considered more citrus based. I know that we have one from Kate Spade that is uh, more citrus based. In terms of the men's ones, we have um, one of the ones from Jimmy Choo, as well as one of the John Ver Vertes, I believe. Yeah, but honestly not that much uh, citrus ones. Oh yeah, Clinique Happy for Men. Yeah, that one is more citrusy, but I got not that much. I guess not many people are fans of like the citrus scent, or at least not to the degree as they are like floral or sweet for women, and then spicy and fresh or woodsy for men. But they are out there and they do smell nice. But no, I actually really like this one a lot. This one, um, it, it it does feel kind of like more lively than the other ones. The other ones were probably more soft spoken and subtle. This one's just like very, you know, hello, I'm here. But like in a good way, it's not super crazy either. And very much like Hobie, I would say this this one I would say is probably like the most on par <laughs> with their personalities. I mean, all of them are, by the way. I should say, I should mention that so far, all of them do kind of pair well with their personalities. Young very much is very mysterious once you uh, kind of get to like more in depth with the group. So yeah, it makes sense that his was the Odomas. Same with Namjoon being the leader. He does have a lot of authority. The fact that his is like the more elegant scent does make sense as well. But yeah, no, so far like Hobie, that paired extremely well with that. Let's uh, let's go to the blurb. Let's leer the citrus or the citrus. Moment with the spicy sweet cocktail. The citrus aromatic scent of tangerine blends with the sexy and subtle white musk to deliver happiness and hope. Feel the happy afterglow with this sweet sweetness. The sweet sweetness, okay. Um, I guess whoever's writing the blurb kind of like was starting to run out of words to describe things at that point, but that's okay. Yeah, this one is a very kind of happy scent, I would say. Um, if I'm looking at a picture, I do see like, I do kind of picture in the teaser Hobie with the bright lights, but I don't know, it also, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Jungkook's, like, you know, for me picturing in my mind, like the beach, but maybe like not so much at the shore, but more like uh, one of the restaurants that are like uh, shore side, um, you know, with the cocktails and the food and the happy atmosphere, like that kind of thing. I like this one a lot. Oh my gosh, this one's really, really nice. I actually really like this one. I know I keep saying that I'm sorry. You're probably sick of me saying, I really, really like this one. But I do. I actually didn't think I was gonna like Taeyang's, but I do. It's just like maybe not in the way I expected. Let me go back. Yeah, this one I feel like I would really like it. like to gift it to a boyfriend if I had one. This one too. <laughs> All right, now we have oh the today the cities oh the cotton. Okay, so this one's gins. Um, the keywords cotton, soft, delicate, fragrance note, black currant, bergamot. Apple, melon, jasmine, rose, plum, violet, sandalwood, cedarwood, white musk. Just from taking a look at the fragrance notes, I can already picture this one is going to be very much um, in vain, similar to feminine fragrances, while the Oda Musk was more in line with like the maybe more masculine side. This is gonna be more feminine side. Of course, soft and delicate, but also because of the different notes. So jasmine, rose, violet, those are uh, different floral scents. So that kind of makes me think it's gonna be more floral. There's also plum and apple and melon. So it's gonna give it a little bit more freshness to it to keep it bring too floral. So that way it's a little more unisex. The white musk, again, that kind of plays into the whole bringing some maturity without it being to uh, masculine in maturity. So yeah, let's take a look at that. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. This is the one that I did smell kind of similar to. I guess I, guess I kind of already smell it, but this is gonna be like more, you know, boom. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, this one, this one is definitely more of a floral. It does um, kind of have a bit of freshness to it, so keeps it from being too um, feminine maybe, so it keeps more in line with unisex, but, oh, it just smells so nice. Let's take it, what does the blurb say? Let's let's go to the blurb real quick. All right, let's see your the eau de cotton. Spring, sunny day, moment of pure first love. 
Rose, blackcurrant, and violet combine to give a warm cotton scent and a subtle floral scent. Feel the gentle excitement like pure first love. Oh, that's so sweet. And yeah, now I can kind of picture it, you know, like you can sort of see the sort of idea of like, you know, that those first tinglings of romance. So like, you know, when you're shy, but... <laughs> A giant fire ant just fell on my arm. I can't wait to be editing and like combing through the footage to find the moment that happens. Those first tinglings of romance, so like you know, when you're shy, but oh. <laughs> I just threw everything, oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> while I was talking about love. <laughs> okay, so where was I? Um, oh yeah, so like, um, think of um, a first relationship where you're like both kind of shy, you don't really know how to act around one another, but you both obviously like each other and you have chemistry, but you're like tentative, like, like that kind of, but it's like, you know, you look on it and you're like, oh, that's so cute. Or if you look, if you see friends like that and you look at them, you're like, oh, that's so sweet. That's so cute of them. That's kind of like the vibe I get with the scent. It is very nice. I like this one a lot. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm kind of subdued now because of the attack on my life. Let's finish this up. All right. Last one. So, la tire de sutiles eau de poudre. Poudre. Yeah. This one's Jimin's. Um, so, let's see. Keyword. Power, ambery, mysterious, fragrance note, clover, bergamot, geranium, helio heliotrope, clove, patchouli, labdanum, vanilla, sandalwood, ambergris. That's interesting because based on my assumptions and when you see like the, like the teaser and like the promotional art and stuff like that and you see the environment that Jimin is in and it's very similar to um, the visuals from Serendipity, it looks like it's gonna be a very sweet fragrance or something very soft, but power, ambry, mysterious, that is not at all what I would have guessed, and now I'm extremely curious. <laughs> like, more curious than I was before. This might actually, yeah, because I see vanilla is one of those fragrance notes, but now I'm like, oh my goodness, there's more, there's things in here I didn't expect to see. So uh, let's take a look. Let's see if I'm wrong or if maybe I'm right or I don't know. Okay, that's very similar to what I thought was gonna. Okay, so you just made me like question reality for two seconds only to, you know, be right as it was. It's very nice, I should mention. It, yeah, it smells very soft, uh, powder, powdery is kind of what I, the word I want to use because it knows it's power, but I want to say powdery, like, you know, soft sweet but not sugary sweet at all because probably because of the you know the clove and the patchouli and the sandalwood keeps it from being too sweet but yeah this is definitely like not as delicate as uh eau de cotton though why do i keep looking off into the distance when the camera's right there carla Car look at the camera look at the camera what is wrong with you let's go to the blurb uh, let's finish this up okay let's let's de sutil eau de podri the moment you walk on the clouds the sweetness of the vanilla base creates a warm, powdery mood. See, I said powdery. Feel the warmth and sweetness of just taking a shower. Well, okay, then. that was very specific. Um, hold on a second. Why can I see that? Why can I suddenly picture getting out of a shower? Like that freshness you feel, like like the cleanness, uh, but also like the relaxation that you feel after a shower, you know, like you feel like you just pampered yourself, like self-pampering, self-care. But also, yeah, I can definitely see the whole walking on clouds thing, soft, light, airy. That's witchcraft, man. Stop getting in my head. Okay, yeah, no surprise. I like this one too. <laughs> so yeah, let's, uh, I guess we'll give it up for some final thoughts on everything. 
So final thoughts. Um, I really, really do like the fragrance collection. Even though I've only actually smelled through the hand creams, if the scents are anything similar to what I smell, I do like them. Yes, I know I probably gave up some mixed reactions um, with you know Namjoon and especially with Taeyang's, but again, after smelling both of them, while this one is, again, while they, these two are not something maybe I would spray on myself or at least quite frequently, I do really like the scents. I would probably spray Namjoon's on myself. Eau de Bui, yeah, I would probably spray Eau de Bui on myself. Um, Eau de Musk. I have to be in the mood for it. Like again, you know, you, you want to set the mood. So that's the thing with fragrance. A lot of times people want like just one signature fragrance that they wear all the time. But I'm of the opinion that you should have different fragrances for like different reasons or occasions or moods. And no, I'm not just saying that because I sell fragrances at my store. That is not at all why. I'm just saying that's how I feel. That's because of how I am. I have multiple fragrances that I like to use depending on even outfits. Sometimes I just prefer the way one scent goes with a certain outfit and I feel it doesn't work as well with another outfit. So yeah, I actually do feel like I would possibly use Eau de Musk just depending on the outfit. Maybe if I, like, the color scheme I would think with this one would be, you know, like dark colors like purple or black or, you know, a dark navy blue kind of thing. And if we, I don't know, maybe like, again, you know, similar color scheme or maybe like with some like white thrown in there as well. Eau de Ocean, uh, Eau de Citrus, you know, again, bright colors, Eau de Cotton and Eau de Poudre probably, you know, softer colors. Same with Eau de Vert. I would probably kind of, if I'm using floral prints especially, I would probably do Eau de Vert um, or Eau de Cotton. But yeah, no, uh, in terms of the fragrances themselves, I really like it. In terms of the packaging, I am very impressed with like their attention to detail as well as the size of the fragrances uh, and the hand creams. I think that the way they set up the boxes are really nice. I like the fact that they incorporated photo cards for us, considering that photo cards are a big part of uh, being a fan of K-pop. Not just a BTS, but you know, the genre in general. Um, or not even a genre, I should say, just like the culture. <laughs> The actual fragrance bottle, like I said, I like the size of it. I am. I do think it's a good idea that they went with an eau de toilette instead of an eau de parfum, just because again, you never know. Like this, like their fans are such a wide range, so you never know what might be better. Some people are a little more sensitive, so uh, to sense, so maybe they didn't want to exclude anyone, which I feel was a smart move. The packaging itself is very nice, very subtle, and you know, very classy. And then of course, I do like the fact that they include the little standees and the transparent photo cards. It's just like a little bonuses for people who like that kind of thing. To finish it off, I am going to go ahead and spray myself with Eau de Cotton um, because I feel like the video would be incomplete without it, so. Oh, there we go. Spray it on my chin. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like that one up. So that's a first. Um, no, my camera did not run out of battery. The memory card ran out of memory, so yeah. And the reason for that is because I have yet to upload um, the footage from my frozen makeup review onto my computer, so that's why, whoopsie. So yeah, um, we're gonna wrap this up. But yeah, so I sprayed this on myself. I like it a lot. I feel like it goes well with my shirt. That's what I meant about outfits, so if you see here, I got this pretty floral shirt on and I feel the fragrance pairs very well to it. But yeah, no, this is definitely, it's nothing too strong. The fragrance itself, it actually is very subtle, like I said, it's a thief. <laughs> but yeah, no, I really like it. I feel like I will enjoy when I get the rest of the fragrances. I feel like I'll use them pretty well. And then the hand creams, of course, they are very softening. And I do like the scents, even uh, the ones that I'm, I feel like I wouldn't use that often. I do like them on their own as a scent itself, maybe, even if I wouldn't use it. But yeah, no, I do really like this one. Um, I feel like I'll like all of the other ones once I get them or open the ones I do have. So yeah, that brings this very long video to an end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment in the comment sections below, and subscribe for more. Um, like I said, this video is not sponsored at all. I just really like the fragrances and wanted to talk about them because uh, I feel like maybe anyone else that's a fan of BTS would like to hear me ramble on and on about it. <laughs> and if you're not a fan of BTS, then Kudos for sticking through to the end of this video. I don't know why you would, but I appreciate it all the same. But yeah, that's going to be it for me, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get out of here before another fire ant tries to kill me. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.